basically we're going to demonstrate that if in the unlikelihood of the turret getting bumped out of alignment, possibly a part falling out, uh, maybe a slight crash on a drill or a boring bar, and it's happened. I'm going to show you how we take and realign the turret both in this direction and in this direction as well. So first thing we're going to do is with the X in the top position so we can do a turret change, tool index. We're going to bring around to a convenient spot. Let's call it this one. This is a flat ground surface. We're going to take and mount a gauge like this. I usually use a magnetic holder and we're going to set it here. It's movable. We're going to take on the arrows and we're going to run the turret over to this point. The first thing we're going to do is check it. So this gauge is going to set on here and then we're going to run the turret back and forth and we're going to see the alignment between the back side and the front. As we run it across here, if this is out in this direction at all, then we're going to have to take and do a little procedure. And this is what it's going to look like. First, we're going to remove the long Allen bolts that go through and hold this cover. There's a couple in the back. Once that's off, we're going to pry this off and it should pop right off because we've used um, a caulking, which is a non-hardening automotive gasket material. That will come off. I'm going to blow all these holes out so that there's no chips. There's two, two big Allen bolts in the back. We're going to loosen each one, one at a time, loosen and then bring it back to where it just barely taunts so this just doesn't move. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and run the turret down, align our gauge, and very slowly run this turret back and forth and watch that gauge ride along this flat surface. We're going to go ahead and get this knocked around so that this is completely parallel with our spindle at end so that the gauge has no actual change between this long surface. If it's tough to bump around, what I've done is I've taken a little piece of 2x4 and I'll set it between here and here. I'll run the x-axis down and I'll just barely push on it here lightly until it's in and if it's still out and needs to go the other direction I come and do it on the back of the turret. Then I barely tighten it once this gauge is perfect. I'll tighten each screw a little, bolt a little more, run it back and forth, make sure it hasn't moved, tighten some more, back and forth, make sure it hasn't moved. At that point, tighten these things down real tight and the two inside there. Then after you've done that, you're going to take all of with a razor blade, take all of that gasket material and scrape it off, clean that surface with acetone, let it dry, reinstall a film of non-hardening automotive gasket material, remount the turret cover plate with these long Allen bolts. Okay, next, we need to check to make sure that our tool ID holders are lined up exactly in the center of the spindle. So to do that, we're going to rotate it around until we get a convenient ID holder. We're going to run it down. We're going to install this gauge right here. We're going to take and clamp with a, with a uh, collet holder of sorts. I make them myself. And we're going to put that in the center of the spindle. And when you rotate the chuck, as it rotates this, it shows you the misalignment between the center of this hole and the center of the spindle. So we're going to drop this down. We're going to start with, in manual, we're going to take a look at our X dimension, our previous X0, or the center of the center of the tool holder before was exactly zero. Okay, we're going to start with that. Then we're going to come back over. And we're going to rotate this chuck with the gauge in there and we're going to let it run around the inside of this ground surface. Primarily what we're looking for is consistency in numbers between the bottom and the top and that will tell us if the turret's out this way. So run that gauge around until the bottom and the top is exact. If it's off, that means that this turret has moved this way. To change that, we're going to take and remove these Phillips screwdrivers noting that this plate needs to go back in with this one. If this says 9, put it back to this turret. Don't move this around. 
take these screws off, take the cover plate, and you'll find some big Allen bolts in here. Loosen each one, slightly tighten, slightly tighten. Come back, not changing the X dimension at all, and rotate that spindle and that gauge, and if they're out, they're only going to be out going this way. So what we'll do is in the X dimension, and on the X, we're going to run this, and we're going to rotate that and the spindle until it says exactly, the gauge says that it's exactly lined up. If this is off, you need to change that number because the computer's looking at it and saying, where is the center of my holder? That doesn't want to say minus two and a half, uh, two thousandths and, and a half. You're going to go in here to zero set in the X only. You're not going to, you're not going to write anything. What you're going to do is go calculate, write, or enter. When it does, that number is going to change. But when you go back into manual, that new number will say exactly zero. That's told the computer that that's the new position that the center of a holder is exactly on the X zero. So that's how we set that.